Hello artists, I am going to show you how we can create a wonderful mask and face on this beautiful seesaw using the seesaw tools. So the first thing I like is my marker tool. When I click on it, I can make it a larger circle, which would make it easier to color in the page. And I'm going to drag my colors on the right side all the way to a color of skin that I like for me. And I'm going to color in the face. Try not to make it in the mask up. Oh, so I'm going to erase it. I got too close with the larger tool. I'm going to go back around all the way around, even down to this mask. I'm getting really close, but I'm super careful. I could switch to a skinnier brush or marker tip in a second, but I'm very careful today to get to the edges. And I know the hair will be on top of that. I also need to, oh, I'm going to erase that a little too much. I'm going to go to a skinnier circle. I also need to get underneath the mask because that is still skin. And I'm going to add that in up to the t-shirt line. And then I'm going to put a t-shirt of a different color on my person. So here I go with all of this, da -da 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 -da, and coloring it in. I could even switch to a larger marker circle. Color it in some more. And... We cannot forget those beautiful eyes. So if I go to this little left-hand side circle with the three dots and click on shapes, I can get circles. And if I click on one, two, circles have shown up on my page. But this circle, if I hold it in the corner, I can make it tinier and drag it here, right where the eye would go, like kind of equal with the ears. This is a giant eye, but I can make it smaller. And then also, I need to change the color too. So I can make this eye and then change the colors. I have greenish eyes. My next one, I'll click on it and drag the color line down till I get to the right green. And next, I need the pupils of my eyes. So I'll go back to the little left-hand side circle with the three dots. I'll click on shapes again. I'll click on the circle. And I'll click on it again. Lots of circles today. And I can drag it really small this time and change the color to black. And that's for the dark, beautiful pupil in the center of her eyes. This one again, I'm going to click on the black. And then I'm going to shrink it and put it into the eye. Now I need to draw the eyelids and all of the eyebrows and things like that. So if I go here and I take my marker tool or a pencil tool, let's try pencil. And the pencil is very skinny, but it's a nice grayish black color right now. So I'm going to make a rainbow on the top, a smiley face on the bottom. But look at that. It's, I can even add eyelashes. It's a little bit grayer, like a pencil color. But that is cool. Can make it a little lower. And if I ever make a mistake, I can go backwards like this, erase with this arrow at the top. I didn't like it. I can go back and try it again. Practice makes perfect. And I don't know, my eyelashes are kind of standing straight up, but that's kind of cool. It's kind of like fun. <laughs> and then eyebrows and hair would be the same idea of the pencil or the marker tool maybe i'll go and click on it to make the hair larger make my hair a little different color brown and it's curly so i'm going to add some wiggly curls and not everybody's hair is just one straight color sometimes you have highlights of darker or lighter low lights highlights different colors all in your hair so you might pick one color for your hair and then go back in and put a little bit thinner marker line on the next color so that might be fun too so let's try and do that and then go back here pick a skinnier color change it to like a orangey yellow and i'm just gonna go whoop, different curly things i could even make it a rainbow it's all from my imagination or i might have some actual orange stripes in my hair we never know in the next video we will start on making the design on our mask. So hopefully you will click on the next video and see how to do that.